you know, negotiation is only effective to the degree that we're able to establish teamwork. Unfortunately, what happens is that when people attempt to negotiate or nag or whatever, they're usually irritated right at that moment, so they're not in the best mood for, for bringing about teamwork. They, they're frustrated because of what's going on, and out of their frustration, they sabotage their ability to get where they want to get to. So sometimes it's really important to step back and think about what kind of a solution could I propose? How could I approach this person? But then to be able to get enough composure to calm down and be able to do this goals, roles, and procedures and honestly, genuinely be able to say, my intention, my goal is for us to work together better and not be just so frustrated with them that that's the last thing you really intend to do. You're just really angry with them and irritated with them. Maybe you shouldn't have the conversation until you can get over that and be able to have a good, honest conversation with them. This is a skill and it's a practice and the more you practice it, the better off you are. But negotiation is, is the only way I know to bring about change. It's to bring about the kind of behavioral change that will allow two people or an organization or two organizations to work together effectively. Nagging usually results in frustration, and then we talk about the other person, you know? I mean, how many times do you see people together having a conversation talking about somebody else? and what they did and why they never listened and this problem, maybe somebody in another department or somebody else. I mean, that doesn't solve anything. In fact, that makes the ecology of the environment worse. We've got to quit talking about things because that's complaining. The difference, there's nothing wrong with complaining as long as the complaint is accompanied by a solution and the commitment and ownership necessary in order to bring the solution about. So if you're going to talk about a problem, that's great, but now we've got to shift to the solution. Well, a complaint is talking about a problem. So you could be talking about somebody else and what a problem they are, or you could be talking about anything. And, and, and if all you're doing is complaining and talking about the problem, but you never go beyond that, then it's just a complaint. All right, so now a solution begins with a complaint. Yeah, I recognize a problem, but then we immediately shift to what are some possible solutions? And if the person who has to be part of the solution isn't present, you better go get them. You know, bring them into the room and talk to them and let's, let's have a negotiation. Let's solve the problem. Let's make it better.